today let us take up the topic of constructors. Um, let us now first try to understand what a constructor is. Uh, let me put it down here. Okay. A constructor is a member function of a class which has the same name as the class name okay, and it is mainly used to initialize the objects of that class with some initial values. Okay? So, this is the definition of a constructor. A constructor is basically uh, for making an object like uh, when we uh, declare an object of a class at that point an object is made and when the object is made the constructor is called right. So, supposing I have a class called student right now inside the class student I have roll number and marks these are the two private variables. Now, if I want to make a constructor of this class the constructor will be like this it will be the name of the class itself right. So, student is the name of the class. So, the constructor will be written like this student and then inside the constructor our main task is to initialize the data members of the class. So, here I write roll number is equal to 0 and marks is equal to 0. So, I have given some initial values. I can also write something like this student and I write roll number is equal to 20, marks is equal to 78 something like this. So, I have given an initial value to these two um, data members of the class student. So, this task is done by the constructor right. So, here this is a constructor which has the same name as the class name. Now, let us look at some other uh, points relating to the constructor. The constructor should have the same name as the class name fine this we already discussed the constructor will not have a return type okay and the constructor should normally be declared in the public section the constructor should not be private okay Okay. So, and the constructor is automatically called when an object of the class is created this you should remember right. So, we are not going to call the constructor explicitly like function supposing I have a function here supposing I write a function like this void enter details right. Now, this is a function. Now, what we generally do is when we make in the main method, we have to call this function. Supposing I make an object of the student class as student s1, then we will have to call it explicitly like saying s1 dot enter details. This is a function call. So, this is an explicit call to a function, whereas a constructor is never called explicitly in the program the constructor is automatically called when an object of the class is created. Okay? 
So, these are the important points that you should remember about constructors. Now, let us see here, let me write a small uh, program here, class employee right and here I say int employee number and float salary right. These are the two private data members, here I write public, public and then I have a semicolon right ok. This is the public section. In the public section first of all I define the constructor. The constructor will not have a return type not even void. If you write something like void then it is not a constructor ok. So, the constructor is simply the name of the class that is it right. Employee and here I say emp number is equal to 10 and salary is equal to 10,000. So, the constructor's task is over, the constructor has initialized the data members fine. Now, I put void enter details and here I write C out enter the emp number. C in EMP number, C out, enter the salary, end in, and here I write C in salary. Fine. This is one method which I have made. Now, here I am going to make one more method which is display, and in this I am just going to display the EMP number and C out salary ok. This with this we come to the end of this class. So, this class has two data members private data members one constructor and two methods right. Now, let us see this is void main here. <coughs> Now, in this first of all I have to create an object of this class. So, I call it as employee E 1 right and then I write E 1 dot enter details and then E 1 dot display that is it and then I give a return. This is a small program which we have written in which we have made a constructor also and we have also made normal methods right. Now, let us see how this program executes. Now, when we come to this main method, this is the point where I am making an object of this class employee E 1. As I said, we never call the constructor explicitly, we just make objects of the class. When the objects of the class are made, then the constructors are automatically called and the objects are constructed that is how it is right ok. So, when I say employee E 1, this statement creates an object E 1 in your memory, this is E 1 right and this transfers the control to this employee constructor which we have put here and this employee constructor will initialize the values of emp number is equal to 10 and salary is equal to 10,000. So, inside this object your emp number is 10 and salary is 10,000 fine this object is created and the initial values are given. After this I call the enter details method since this is a normal function or a method it has to be called along with the object. So, E 1 dot enter details. Now, here I am calling the function explicitly you have to understand the difference between an explicit call and an implicit call explicitly means you are calling the function yourself you have to write it right 
and implicitly means that happens automatically the compiler does it automatically right ok. So, even dot enter details now it will come to this particular function it will ask the user to enter the employee number and the salary even dot display will take me to this function here and the emp number and salary will be printed right. So, this is a small example in which we have shown how to write a constructor and how the constructor is called by the compiler, when the constructor is called by the compiler and what actually uh, happens when this program is executed. Okay. So, basically the job of the constructor here is to initialize the data members of a class fine. Now, we can also write programs without constructors till now we have been writing programs only without constructors, but then also the objects were getting created right. So, there is a concept of default constructors this means even if you do not provide a constructor right the C plus plus has its own default constructor which is supplied to a class. In case no constructors are defined by the user right. So, if the user does not define any constructor in the class, the C++ has its own default constructor which it uses to initialize the data members of the objects to null values, right. But once the user gives a constructor of his own, like as I said we have this class student and here I write int roll number and then we write int marks fine and then in the public section we just write void enter and void display ok. So, this is one way of writing our programs without a constructor this is the end of the class right. Now, in this case when I make a object of the student class S 1 the object is made and the default constructor provided by C plus plus is called fine, but if you write your own constructor that is supposing I write int roll number int marks and then in the public section I write student. Now, this is a constructor which I have defined fine and here we write roll number is equal to 10 and marks is equal to 89 something like this right and then you have void enter and void display fine. So, in this case you are providing your own constructor. So, C plus plus takes back its default constructor once you give your own constructor the default constructor is taken away and your constructor will be used that default constructor will not be given to you it is not needed because you have declared your own constructor is that right hmm? ok and when this again this uh, student uh, constructor that you have defined over here this one, this again this is called a default constructor only, a default constructor is one which does not have any parameter. So, this again is a default constructor given by the programmer right. So, here we should remember that a default constructor will not have any parameters. We can make constructors with parameters also 
that we will take up in our next uh, session right so for now we have seen how to make constructors how to call the constructors and what is the need for constructors in c++ with that i come to the end of this topic on constructors thank you